New at 10, farmers market fraud in West Allis. Someone gave fake money to a lot of vendors. Courtney Garish is live in West Allis, and Courtney, this is very low. Carol, it really is. One farmer I talked to says it's like working the whole day for nothing when something like this happens. And the vendors who've been coming here year after year are disappointed this guy decided to take advantage of them. It's the end of another day at the West Allis Farmers Market. Today was business as usual. Last Thursday was not. That's when a guy with a wallet full of fake $50 bills stopped by. The top of the bill was fine. Like he had all the watermarks. He bought five bucks worth of corn with a bogus 50. Henry Sentgraff gave him $45 back. It looked like a passable bill. The man moved on to another vendor, Cindy and Joe Chapman, and did the same thing. But his next request is what eventually made everyone suspicious. He said, well, no other farm will take any 50s. Can we cash this one too? So I said, well, I guess I can. So I gave him 50 bucks back. The Chapman's got hit for $100. That really does hurt your feelings when something like that happens. So it's personal in a way. Yes, it is. Very personal with me. Dan Koroleski is with the West Dallas Health Department. He says as the guy went vendor to vendor, the news spread fast. That's the thing about our farmer's market. It's almost like family down here, and the farmers talk to one another. Farmers were able to give police a really good description of the guy. They also hope the surveillance cameras got a good picture of him. The Chapmans and other vendors won't do business any differently, but say they will be paying closer attention. I guarantee everybody on this market is going to have their guard up. And in all, this guy passed 14 fake $50, $50 bills at the farmer's market. That is $700 worth. West Dallas police looking into if he tried to pass the bills anywhere else in town. We're live in West Dallas. Courtney Garish, today's TMJ4. So wrong to cheat those hardworking farmers. Thank you very much, Courtney.